Hey y'all, Tanika here, back with another video for you guys. Now today's video is about sister locks, so that's a good thing. The bad thing is it might be a little bit touchy for some people and it might strike a nerve. That's not my intention, but still. <laughs> Alright, so today we're going to be talking about why some people with sister locks are so snooty and snobby about having sister locks and um, want to make sure that everybody knows whether or not what they've got going on in their head is actually sister locks or nah. Um, and yeah, and why it's why it comes across um, or why some people are are taking it as you know offense um when they're being called out for not having the style in their hair that they think that they have before we get started please go ahead and click that thumbs up button also subscribe don't be stingy share the shade tell a friend click that that notification bell so you'll be one of the first people to know when a new video goes up now, um, what prompted me to do this video is I watched a video by um, fellow sister lock goddess, um, Britannia718. She has the most stunning locks I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god. That's not true. There are tons of stunning locks out there that I drool over all the time. But hers are definitely in like the top three. I just love her hair. Um, so she has been doing sister lock videos for a few years now and um, she recently did one to explain to people um, how to know if you have sister locks or not. Um, and I thought it was a great video. It was, it was funny. <laughs> um, it was informative. If I was wondering if I had sister locks or not, like this would be a great video to watch if I knew somebody who was wondering if they had sister locks or not. And, um, you know, I couldn't tell. I would refer them to this video. I thought that it was a very well thought out um, and well uh, explained video. However, um, I did notice in the comment section, which they tell you not to read, but I read, you know, I can be messy like that sometimes. So I was reading the comment section because I was like, ooh, I know some people are going to be cut to the white meat. Mm. But I was reading the comments and I noticed that there were some people who, as I suspected, felt a way about uh, her... Uh, talking about sister locks um, and about stepsister locks as she called them um, and the difference between the two and how to know whether you have the real deal or not um, after watching her video I also noticed that there were you know you get into that YouTube vortex you know and you just start watching tons of videos and I noticed that there are quite a few videos about sister locks and people feeling like people with sister locks are really snobby about their sister locks and um, are very uh, like elitist when it comes to their like you know sister locks are designer locks and they are you know the most the, the most gorgeous and the most you know you have to be somebody really fancy or something to have sister locks and not regular locks or um, micro locks or something else you know um, and I, I noticed that in a lot of videos and I'm like what the hell like I've got them and it's not like as soon as they put these sister locks in my head like I just immediately transcended to a level of Beyonce, you know? <laughs> but no, like, I don't really understand, like, the whole, um, you know, sister locks and snobby people. Now, this is not to take away from people's truth um, and people's experiences. There might be people out there who are watching this right now who have met people who are very snooty about their sister locks and who are very um, snooty about other people. I've never met anybody like that. Um, I live in northern Kentucky. There's lots of white people here. The few black people that I do see, um, they either have 
Reg like natural hair, the uh, uh, free flowing natural hair, or you know they have in their weaves or their box braids. Like I don't know anybody else in this area that has sister locks. So I mean, it's not like the average person, unless you're like a sister locks consultant, I guess, or a trainee, and you're going to like these different events where there's tons of people with these hairstyles. Sister locks are not something that are so popular that everybody has them um so you can just be bumping into somebody at random here's my thing i kind of figure if you have sister locks and you're snooty about your sister locks i want to i want to say that i would figure or i think that you were snooty before you got those sister locks the sister locks aren't making you snooty you were snooty um before you got them and you were probably snooty um, when you were natural because you do know that you have people with natural hair who are snooty too who are snooty towards people who decide to have perms or do sew-ins or wear weaves or dye their hair you know um, so <laughs> I don't think sister locks is what makes people snooty it's not the locks that make these people snooty they're just snooty people some people get really caught up in um brands you know in, uh, in in names in titles um and i can see somebody like that wanting to make it very clear to people no i do not have dreads i've got sister locks <laughs> that's so ridiculous <laughs> but but all jokes aside i can i i can see that being a thing for some people and on the other flip side of that, if you pay so much money for these, can I really be mad at you for wanting to make sure you clarify with people that no, 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 these aren't just regular locks. These are something way more um, complicated and a lot more uh, intricate and expensive. No, I, uh, I, uh, it's your world, girl. Like. I personally don't think that the random person out there with sister locks um, is snooty about sister locks. They might see somebody whose hair, and again, this is this is the average person. The average person, I don't even think the average sister lock wearer, if they saw micro locks or Brady locks, and the person with them said they had sister locks, I don't think that the average person with sister locks would be like those aren't sister locks those are brady locks or those are micro locks because they you know they're all skinny they're all really small and they all you know especially when they settle they all kind of, they kind of look the same like they do they all look they they do kind of look the same so i mean i don't think that the average person could tell um and a consultant or a uh, a trainee who might have a more trained eye and might be able to tell, I don't really think that the average person who has sister locks is bumping into somebody else with sister locks who just happens to be a consultant to really just, or, or somebody with Brady locks or micro locks is just bumping into somebody who is a sister locks consultant who just happens to notice that they're, like, that is just, I mean, that's like literally two unicorns galloping across, you know, the same place at 1230 in the afternoon on 275. What? I kind of feel like the vast majority of us with sister locks are so busy trying to figure out how to maintain our own sister locks that we're not even noticing anybody else's hair. Like... I just want to know how to keep this from, um, how to keep this growing, keep this healthy, keep this looking presentable so that people aren't talking about me in these streets because I look like a raggedy hot mess, right? Like, is that just me? I mean, <laughs> yeah, like I don't feel like the vast majority of people who have sister locks even care what's going on in your hair um or the next person's hair um 
if I see if I see someone else with sister locks, chances are I walk up to them. Or even if I, because again, I've mentioned this in other videos. I love locks in general. So if I see someone with a set of locks in their hair that grabs my attention, I'm just gonna go up to them and tell them that their hair is beautiful and keep it pushing. You know, um, I, I don't even, I don't even. I don't even care to know are those sister locks as well or are those I don't care they're they look gorgeous um a lot of people ask me oh I, I love your hair are those sister locks yes they're sister locks all 600 and something odd six 600 plus of these locks they're sister locks yeah um but it's it's, it's really not a thing for me if if you know, sometimes I've even heard people like ask me, oh, your braids, they're in a very unusual pattern. I don't even bother to correct people. It's like, okay, thank you. I'm really busy. Nine out of 10 times, if you see me out in these streets, I am running to pick up Twyla. I am running to drop off Twyla. I am going to the grocery store. I am volunteering somewhere. I am editing videos. I am, I'm, I'm doing something. So I really don't have time to sit down and break down the, <laughs> the intimate inner workings of my hair from day to day. Um, so yeah, why are sister locks or people with sister locks so snooty? I couldn't tell you. I haven't met a snooty sister locks person. I promise if I ever meet a snooty person who has sister locks and I and, the, and I have a snooty experience with one, I promise I will come back on here and do a video at their expense. <laughs> talking about my experience with the suit with the snooty sister lock wearer but until then um i don't know why people with sister locks would be snooty about having sister locks um i don't know uh but again my guess is that they were probably snooty before they got those locks and they'll be snooty if they do a big chop again they'll be snooty if they have a, a sew-in or a a, a wash and go or whatever the hell they're rocking in their hair they're they're probably just snooty at their root and you know having these locks just make them feel snootier um but yeah uh shout out to britannia 718 um huge fan of your channel love your work um, I'm going to put her link below so that if you're watching this video, chances are I'm probably underneath one of her videos. You probably saw her first and came here. But for those of you who are looking for somebody who knows their stuff about Sister Locks, she's the gal to go and check out. Um, so be sure to go over there and um, enjoy her videos as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, may the fierce be with you.